Hi boys and girls, this is unit two, lesson five, vocabulary. You're going to need pages seven and eight in your vocabulary journal. So go ahead and get that out right now. We are continuing our study of animal classification. Our first word for today is oxygen. Everyone say it with me, oxygen. Write it on the line. And if you need to pause the video, go ahead. Oxygen is a colorless gas that animals must breathe to stay alive. And animals includes humans. So oxygen is a noun. It's a thing. It's a colorless gas. We can't see it that animals must breathe to stay alive. The next word is gill. Say it with me, gill. This is a noun, write it on the line, it's a thing. One of a pair of organs fish use to breathe underwater. So a gill is one, so we're looking at one side of a fish there. Um, gills would be both pairs. So it's a pair of organs fish use to breathe underwater. Next we have fin. Fin is also a noun, it's a thing, say it with me, fin. Write it on the line. It's a bony spine covered with skin that sticks out from a fish's body and helps it swim. The next word is school, and it's a noun. Write it on the line, say it with me, school. And this is a different kind of school than what we go to. It's a large group of fish or other aquatic animals that swim together. So a school is a large group of fish or other water animals that swim together. Our last two words, migrate, everybody say it with me, migrate. This is a verb, it's an action, write it on the line. It means to travel back and forth from one place to another. So birds migrate south in the winter time typically, and they migrate north in the summertime because it's warmer here and they can live here. And our last word today is aquatic. Say it with me, aquatic. It's an adjective, it describes something. Write it on the line. And aquatic means living, growing, or found in water. Aquatic always has to do with water. Those are your words, boys and girls. You're going to submit pages seven and eight of your vocabulary journal. Practice reading the words and saying the words and looking at their definitions.